Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an update on my son. Now I know I got my start on YouTube doing baby videos and baby updates and then once my son was born I kind of got away from that just because I did not have the time but I'm back. I forgot to do my three month update or let me just be honest I did not do my update video for him at his three months because I procrastinated and then it became too late and then I just said I was gonna stop doing the updates but that's basically initially what I came here to do and I just want those videos for the future I can look back and just see you know where my son was during each development of his life so today we're going to talk about month three and month four for him month three was the first time where I started to feel like my baby was no longer a baby um I know that if you don't have children or if you've never experienced this you I probably sound crazy but I'm so serious it just felt like when he was one month and two months, he was a newborn and he'd lay on my chest and he was just so helpless. By three months, it just felt like now he is holding his head up during tummy time. He doesn't want to lay on mommy's chest anymore. He knows how to cry on command for the things that he wants. And it just like he sort of gained his independence as a baby for the first time um, at three months some of the things like I just said his tummy time um, I do tummy time with him about three times a day um, and it just seems like that's when he mastered it so he's able to at this point lift his head hold his arms up lift the back of his feet up he knows how to roll over but when he does tummy time he also knows how to stay in place that was when he first started to want to scoot so like on the bed if he's doing tummy time he uses his legs and tries to like shimmy like each foot back and forth and he can actually move but obviously he doesn't know how to use the front two um, arms or hands so he would barely get anywhere or he would just use his back feet to get anywhere but that was a big milestone to me. At three months, um, for his clothes, he was in a zero to three months. Um, he was starting to get it pretty big and starting to fill out more because when he was born, he was very skinny. And he's still slim compared to a lot of babies, but he's tall. So that basically um, started to kind of even out where he wasn't just like tall and lanky and now he is more a little bit more filled out so again he was wearing three to zero months but it was starting to get a little bit tight on him um food wise he was still breastfeeding full time um, I never had any problems with my milk um, he's always full he always slept through the night um, he would go to sleep around 11 30 and be up and sleep through the night and get up around 7 and then at 7 he would feed and then he would go back to sleep until 9 and then 9 is when he would be sort of up for the day and just nap and eat throughout the day. Um, other things, activities, again like I said he was doing tummy time three times a day and he was doing it very well. Um, he loved his bouncer and he has a little frog seat and he loved both. Um, teething he began drooling and i thought he was teething so i prepared by picking up some baby or gel um come to find out he was not teething or if he was it stopped um but the drooling persisted um that's when i bought him some teething rings and he would use my fingers to um chew and he would drool a lot but i guess that's normal natural there was no whining or fussing my three also with his um cries he began to or I began to differ differentiate his cries so when he is in need of something so for example if his diaper needs to be changed or if he is hungry it's a certain cry if he just wants some attention or if he wants to be held it's more of a whiny fussy cry um so that was pretty cool because when he cries I can kind of know that you know either he's just being a brat or something's wrong um pacifier i did not give the pacifier to him until he was six weeks old but fortunately he grabbed onto it very well so at three months he was perfect with his um pacifier and he still is today if he's fussy or whiny i can give him the pacifier and it's sort of a pacify him for a few minutes before he is in need of a feeding or whatever the case may be especially when i as a mom want to multitask um, I think that was it for three months. Um, eczema. He was born with eczema, unfortunately, but um, at this point I was just using the eczema cream by Shea Moisture. It's the baby eczema cream. It comes in a yellow round tube or jar and I would put that on him three times a day. So three times a day I would moisturize his skin with the eczema cream. He would get it really bad, um, the breakouts on his shoulders. 
on the inner and outer of his um what do you call it it's like your joint of your arm his back will get really dry and then like around here his chest will get um, really dry he also had some in his thighs in the inner thigh like little dry patches so it would be like i would have to do it um moisturize him three times a day in order to keep him from being too dry um at three months he started to itch it is his left side he learned how to itch right here and I consulted with his doctor as well as Google and they said it was normal but it was probably because of his eczema so that pretty much was it in month three um like I said he just became a big boy in th month three month four um he became a supported sitter which I was so excited about because um I just love seeing him develop and learn new things and hit new milestones so now he's a supported sitter of course I can't sit him up by himself but he can um, you can prop him on a pillow and he sits pretty fine or in my lap he'll sit pretty fine um, I'll hold him and let him go and he'll just sit very well and it will I mean it'll last a few seconds before he falls over but that makes me very proud uh, we still do tummy time with him, not as much because he's pretty much mastered it, but when he does do tummy time, at least once a day now, um, which I know I should be doing it more, but he's so good at it because when we do tummy time now, he doesn't want to sit there and practice um, sitting up. Now he wants to scoot, so we encourage him to scoot. I'll sit him, you know, a few inches from me, and then I'll take like his rattle or something, and I'll just rattle it in his over him or like in front of him at eye level and I'll sort of cheer him on and he'll scoot the back feet back feet back feet and I'll kind of help him in the front and show him what to do with his arms and he still doesn't get it yet but like I said he's making progress in learning how to scoot um with the eczema he had a doctor's appointment the first week he turned four months now he's four and a half months um at that doctor's appointment um the doctor prescribed him something for his eczema um i'll leave the information down below on the cream it's a little tube um he's prescribed it and we picked it up from the pharmacy but it's just a little tube of a white cream and I put it on him one time and I kid you not his eczema is gone I still put it on him once like every other day to make sure it doesn't come back um, so that was a big help also at his doctor's appointment he measured in at uh, 24 inches long um, his head I want to say I'll leave the measurements below of what he was I don't remember what his head was but weight wise he is 15.4 pounds so um, he's pretty proportioned he's not chubby um, he's a little bit tall his feet are still big which I told you guys in his first update um what else shoes he had some Jordans and some Chucks um, and some Carter shoes that were size ones and they no longer fit so he's a size two in shoes at four months um, I told you guys about his eczema supported sitter bath time we still do bath time every other night but we also increased it to like on days that we have outings where we're out and he sweats because he sweats very easy um, those nights he gets an extra bath other nights he's probably just in the house so he probably didn't get much dirt um, on him so that is it for bath time so diapering um he is a size two in diapers he's been a size two since he was three months um actually you bought his first size two diapers i believe july was it july yeah he started wearing size two diapers in july and he's been wearing them ever since so he uses huggies um and we're pleased with those it keeps the smell down he doesn't leak or anything like that um also if you're a mother and you have a little boy on the way always remember to point the pee pee down and i know this sounds weird but when you change the diaper you have to like strap one side and then when you get to the other side take your finger and just pop pee pee down before you strap it big help because that is the reason that he never ever ever has a leak um in month four um with his clothes he went from a zero to three to a six to nine so now he's a six to nine and he he fits it very well it's not too tight but it's not loose at all um so in the single sizes he's a size six but like i said he wears a six to nine in those um clothes that have the from one month to another type of sizes 
um, we don't moisturize him three times a day anymore. The reason we did that was because the eczema was so bad that um, when you would change his onesies, you'd see and you'd feel how rough it was. So that was just to keep that down. But now that his eczema is um, sort of at bay, we don't, um, what am I trying to say? We don't moisturize him but once a day usually at night um i noticed that his hair is more curly now so i usually at night um will comb through his hair usually every other night after a bath because it does get a little bit of a tangle to it um not naps but it's just the ends the length of the hair like at the ends it'll be a tangle and i can just pick it apart with my fingers or i can just like i said use his comb to um detangle um not bad where i need to detangle or anything for his hair i basically use um natural oils um coconut oil is what i've been using since uh he was a few months old and, or actually for, since he was a few weeks old but in addition to that I love using the Shea Moisture Eczema Cream um, it's a Shea Butter I'm sorry Shea Butter based cream so it works really good in his hair his hair had really bad um, dry scalp or cradle caps as they call it when I first started using that cream so I would put it on his scalp and it, I like the way um, it maintained his curls so now when I do use that on his skin I'll put just a little bit in his hair and I'll seal it with the coconut oil but I do like moisturizing his hair at least once a day um, just to keep the curls activated and so that he looks kept <laughs> um, what else uh, bath time usually we use the big large um, what do you call it Johnson's and Johnson's um, bath time um, body wash it's the one that's purple the lavender for um, nighttime I like the way that one smells and we just have it so we use that um, when his eczema used to act up we would use the Aveeno cream wash but now we don't really use that one much anymore for moisturizing like I said we use the Shea Moisture cream now I'm starting to just simply use the he's waking up now I'm starting to use just a regular um, pink baby lotion just because I like the way that smells and since his skin isn't acting up anymore um, it's okay but I just seal it with a little bit of coconut oil um what else I want to make sure I tell you guys everything cooing he coos um, my three he cooed so much and he still coos so much and it's so cute because when he gets um, fussy First, he'll start cooing when he's by himself, like if he's playing in one of his seats, we'll obviously be supervising him, but he'll start out with a light coo and then it advances and advances to a scream until he starts crying, but that's like our signal. When he starts to coo, then we know he's probably going to fuss, um, but he's very good at it, trust me. His lungs can go. Uh, what else? Attachment. Um, Diamond is very attached to mommy. Um, he loves daddy, he loves his uncle and all of his family members. He has not, um, I've never met someone or he has never met someone that, um, he cried for but like if he's in his stroller and someone tried to talk to him, some people who cry for, some people who just give him that, like that death stare like, who are you and what do you want? Um, I think it all depends on just his mood. If he just woke up, he's sort of in a groggy mood. If he is up and playful, he'll be a little bit more willing to smile and greet people. Um, the only time that he really, really prefers me is um, bedtime. He goes to sleep about 11.30 still, which I don't mind because I'm usually up until like 1 a.m. anyway, and it ensures that he stays asleep the entire night. But around 10.30, 11, if he's with daddy or with anyone else, that's when he kind of starts to cry. As I was saying, um, when it comes to crying or preference, um, mommy is always preference when it comes to bedtime, about 10.30 to 11.30. Um, if anyone else is holding him, that's when he becomes fussy and he just only wants mommy. Oh, I tried baby powder with him in month three and it broke him out. I think it was the eczema. He does have sweaty palms and a sweaty back in the summertime. Um, especially in his car seat so we tried to put like powder on his back before we would go out into the elements and um it broke him out i think it was because of the eczema we have not tried it again since his eczema is at bay but hopefully um all of that allergy stuff is gone um nails and toes i clip his nails every 
three days because he does as most babies do scratches his face especially when he's upset or when he's trying to fall asleep um and as long as his nails stay clipped he does not get scratches when mommy forgets to clip his nails on time then he will get a scratch or two like on his forehead or somewhere crazy like his nose um i think that was it for uh month three and month four of diamond's uh development um some of the things that went on for mommy um again i'm three to four months postpartum i did not have the snack back or snap back like some which is fine um i'm still at 20 pounds um lighter than my what do you call it my pregnancy weight but um, I haven't had the time to work out. I haven't had the time to eat as healthy as I want to. So with breastfeeding, I think I've come to my hiatus as far as how much weight I've lost. Um, so it's time for me to start working out and eating healthy. My tummy pretty much looks the same. So if you want to see that, check out um, my last baby update. It's month two for him. Um, he's actually waking up at the moment. So I'm going to get him and show you him really quickly. Okay, so this is Diamond. Forgive him, he, or forgive me, he just woke up, so the hair is crazy and all, but he, a few things that I forgot were, uh, he found his feet and he found his penis, which is so funny in month four. Um, he found his feet first, and he likes to hold them and play with them and put them in his mouth. Um, he also found his penis, which is kind of scary because, like, when I'm changing his diaper, he goes for it, and he gets, like, a freaking major grip on it so i have to like prevent him from touching it not because i don't want him to explore it but because he doesn't know that he's hurting himself and the way i see that he holds it holds it he's definitely i know it hurts and he just doesn't get that yet um i told you guys that he talks a lot he's a supported sitter um he puts everything in his mouth if i hold his hand he's putting in his mouth if i give him a toy it goes straight to his mouth everything belongs in his mouth at this point to him um i told you guys he had a doctor's appointment he did get his four month shots um he did so well with that um if you follow me on snapchat you've seen that um and he did the oral and he was smiling and kicking the nurse while she was giving him the oral vaccination he did not cry and then with the three shots the first one was in his right leg he did not cry he just kind of looked at her like what are you doing the second one he cried after we did like wait a minute what are you doing and then by the time the third one was done i literally put the pacifier in his mouth and grabbed it when he completely stopped and he never cried again i did not have to give him tylenol or anything because he is a big strong boy huh papa so I think that's it for Mr. Diamond. Um, again, he's still breastfed. He's tried, at the beginning of month four, he tried oatmeal, I'm sorry, not oatmeal, but cereal for the first time, which he did not like. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen that. Um, but Daddy just mixed the cereal with a little bit of my breast milk, and he just like let it drip out of his mouth like, what the heck is this? So I did not want him to have cereal anyway. Um, his doctor recommended that we wait till six months because he is breastfed and he is um, still getting full and satisfied for my milk. So we are going to try to wait till month six for his um, for him to start table feeding. But the other night, daddy did take like the teensiest, teensiest bit of avocado and like smushed it up very, very, very well and just put it on the tip of his tongue and he actually knows how to chew it. Um, he also does this chewing motion with his mouth during the day. I think it's dried up milk in his mouth that he's chewing. Daddy says he doesn't think so, but we don't know what it is, but he loves chewing and when we eat, he watches us like a hawk, like he wants to do it too, huh? So we're debating because the doctor said it's okay if we start um, table feeding him now with obviously like pu pureed food. So pureed veggies mixed with my breast milk. Um, but we just want to make, or I'm sorry, wait till the six month point just to give him the best opportunity to get as much breast milk as he can get. But um, I don't know. We'll see. So that's it for Baby Diamond. Again, he is 15.4 pounds. His doctor's appointment was last week, so he may have gained a few more ounces, who knows. But this is my little munchkin. And his hair, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's so long. And it's like a sandy brown texture. 
so sometimes I don't know what to do with it there's like a million textures in his hair but it's obviously not done and it's dry but usually like I said I put the coconut oil in it and it curls up very well but yeah that's baby diamond and we want to thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys at month five mm -hmm.